Hello everyone and welcome to another Tutorial Thursday. My name is Swiss and for this week we're going to be starting something new. That's going to be stage usage. So we're going to go over stages, each individual stage, not in this video, but for this video we're going to be doing Battlefield specifically, how to play on Battlefield, how to control the stage on Battlefield, advantage, disadvantage, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. Let's go. So just one quick thing before we get started, uh, I do have a sub goal on my Twitch account right now. We are looking to hit 50 subs so that we will be doing a money match with MVD and that set will be placed on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to contribute to that, it is free with Twitch Prime or $4.99. Feel free to head on over to the Twitch side. My Twitch account is in the description down below. So check that out and you know contribute to the cause if you guys would like to see that. But anyway, so we're going to get started with the with going over Battlefield. Now, Battlefield is, is considered one of Snake's strongest stages because of the platforms in general. Really good coverage with grenades and C4s. The stage isn't all that big. Like, it's not a huge stage, but it's not like an extremely small stage. So you can still control the stage very easily and be able to move around. Uh, as far as Blast Zones goes, Blast Zones are pretty big. You know, they're not like... They're, they're not like a Smashville or like Town and City sides for the Blast Zone, so that's good. The The bottom is pretty big too, under the stage, and above the stage is, is really big as well. So those are some good things about the stage as well. That can help Snake. It can help him live longer. He doesn't have to get comboed off of the side or die early to some shenanigan move or anything like that. So there's that. So, um... We're going to go into primarily starting out on this stage. And generally, what you want to do is just immediately have a C4 on the platform when you start. So, like, if you start right here, let's say, you just drop the C4 and then you start camping or whatever you want to do. Whether it's camping or playing an offensive game. And the reason why you want to do that is because C4, if you guys don't know, hits from under the platform above the platform and on the platform. So you got this giant line or, you know, AOE that where you could just get hit. So in this case being said, that's that's primarily why you want to drop C4 as soon as possible. Now, if you want to be quick and just have C4 out as quick as possible and be able to move as quick as possible, you can do what MVD does. He likes to drop through platform, then place a C4, so that way he can instantly start, you know, pressuring or doing whatever he wants. So there's that too. You can uh, you can also B reverse off of the platform. B reverse C4 off platform. If you do it just right, the C4 won't come out, and Snake will be able to just still have like movement. Now this is only because like if like you just want to be back facing like as soon as possible. So like if you just want to get down on the platform and dash attack, that's just as good. That's just fine. But if you want to just like be able to fake your opponent out with the B-reverse or like do a back air, then there's that too. So it's just basically run off a platform then B-reverse C4. But other than that, so like going back to what I said, you drop the C4, you go through the platform, and if you are a if you are in a matchup where you want to camp, you generally just want to be behind the platform using your projectiles or whatever the case is. And the reason I say that is because again, C4 hits from under if it's detonated so if someone rushes at you and you try to counter them with this c4 you can't really do anything because the c4 is there you're going to hit yourself and your opponent or or at the very least only yourself unless you crouch and detonate it that's fine but for for better insurance i like to stay behind the c4 and then just play around that so also like if you decide to go the offensive route you can play offensive offensive up tilting, down tilting, F smashing, whatever, and then you, you know you force your opponent to get over here to where they're under the C4. Then that's when you detonate it because the C4 again is really good on the stage because it covers a lot and it gives Snake very very good stage control. Now you can also place the C4 up here, and the reason why you would want to do that is if you have an opponent that has a really strong up air that could take stocks off a snake just by them jumping up here and hitting you when you're recovering high then that's when you want to have c4 up there 
people like Yoshi or Palu or Falco, you know, people like that is going to be sharking you to try to get that up air. Uh, also, if like someone is someone circle camps, like if you play someone that likes to circle circle camp, stay on the platforms, jump around to dodge grenades and Nikitas and so on and so forth, then having a C4 on top platform can definitely help as well because circle camping can be pretty annoying to deal with as far as snake goes. And if you can try to close that off with the C4, then definitely go for it. So that's uh that's generally like what you want to do as far as like having that stage control with Snake. Uh, now we're gonna dive in a little bit further into more about the stage. Now some more things about this stage is that when your opponent is on platform, there's a lot of options you have to be able to actually pressure them. Like you have up tilt, you can hit them from under the platform. You have back air that you can hit them under the platform as well, just like that. You could double jump down air, that helps as well. You can up smash if you wanted to, why, I don't know, but you can also sticky them if they're on platform too. So platform really helps out a lot for Snake because of the amount of setups that he has. So you would have that option to actually be able to get some damage off on your opponent. You can also get a down throw on your opponent on the platform and in doing so most people like to do get up attack from the platform. In that case you could set up a nair one into up tilt if possible. Or you could just shield the get up attack and then just punish that way. Now, not everyone is going to get up attack when you down throw them on a platform, but for the most part, most people do. So just be ready for that if, if at all anything. So uh, that's primarily like the platform game as far as Snake goes. And using the platforms as far as like his disadvantage goes can help out a lot too. And when you're recovering high, this top platform just helps get Snake to the ground as early as possible. Because when you're playing on other stages like Final Destination for example, and you only have the ground and you're way up here, there's a lot of time it takes just for Snake to get out of disadvantage. Because if you guys don't know, Snake's biggest disadvantage is being in the air. So that's what's going to hurt him the most. So if you can land on this platform by any chance, feel free to do so. And then try to like be reversed down if possible. Or... You know, just just be able to get back on the ground if you can. So there's that. You can also, uh, if you wanted to like take control of top platform or get on top platform, you can uh, with using only one jump. And with doing so, the way to do that is off of this platform. So like, if I jump regular, a full hop, I can't get on this platform with Snake because his. Because his jump, his jump height is just not enough to actually get on this platform. Now, if you wait until your jump height and then do a wave land, you can get on the on the platform in one jump, or just air dodge down. But you have to do it right at the height of his jump to be able to to do that. Otherwise, you have to double jump just to get on the platform. So there's that. But uh, with this platform, since I can't full hop onto this platform without having to double jump. What you want to do is if you're on the platform and you press down to like drop through it, like you would there, but instantly jump, he'll do, he'll use his second jump, therefore being high enough to get on the top platform if you want to get there. Because Snake's second jump is higher than his, than his uh, single jump. So doing that will use his second jump to be able to get on this platform. So that way you can get the C4 on top, or you could use it as movement if you wanted to, or whatever whatever else in this case. But um, that's like using the platforms all together. I think having the platforms around also helps with his movement in general. You can also Z-drop grenades on the platform, so you could do that. So hold the grenade, Z-drop it, or if you have a second, second grenade out, you could just pull it out and then drop. Like pull out another grenade and it'll drop that first one right there. So you could do that, have like double coverage. So you'll have like a straight wall basically. But um, that's that's generally what you want to use the platforms for. And again, you can have that C4 up here. So if they end up chasing you, use that as a counter. And then if you get that up air, that C4 and up air, you could possibly get like an early kill if you can. But um, that's another good reason for using C4 on that top platform. So. That's generally it. Um, as outside of like recovering again, so like the blast zones are pretty big, so you don't have to worry too much about dying early, uh, as you would on Smashville or Town and City. 
But um, you have like a lot of room to work with as far as just being able to move around on this stage. So you have like the platforms. You know, you got you got stage control with the C4. You have Nikita that that can help um you know cover platforms as well. If they want to go on a platform, you can do that. Uh, but that's that's generally it as far as like using using Battlefield to the best of its ability. Now certain um like as far as taking characters to Battlefield, that's generally gonna be most of the cast. Now some some people you may not want to actually take to Battlefield. Someone with like a super high jump that can just you know use this use this top platform, jump as high as off the stage off the screen, and then be able to up air you to kill you early. You may want to look out for that. Someone like Falco, Zero Suit, Palutena, and so on and so forth. Like characters like that could definitely be a nuisance and could be hard. So you might not want to take them there. Or someone that has like really good platform platform pressure like if you're on a platform and someone like cloud is under you and they keep spamming up air then you know battlefield might be a little bit harder for you but for the most part again it's it's matchup dependent but for the most part you're gonna want to take most people to battlefield and most people might just ban battlefield against snake because they know it's a really strong stage for snake but again like some some characters can can actually overwhelm you on this stage it, it, it's just really all matchup dependent but uh i really hope that you guys actually um take that into consideration because it's really all about just understanding the matchup and what moves are good or not but in the in the long run there's not really a character that destroys snake on battlefield in my opinion i feel for the most part it's either snake just does very just does very well on the stage or there might be another character or another matchup where you guys just might go even on this stage. Like Zero Suit, as an example, would be a good one. Zero Suit also, in my opinion, is really good on Battlefield. But the two being on Battlefield, they kind of just even each other out in a, in a sense. Last thing I just want to talk about is going to be the usage of his moves. And that's going to be one up smash. So using up smash can be kind of good or bad in this on this stage it's dependent on how you use it you generally want to use it like right here to where up smash just doesn't connect on this platform because that's what you don't want because then it's not covering the ground which is going is which is what you need for edge guarding now if they're on top platform up smash is just fine right here but if you guys are up smash users or up smash and neutral users, this stage may be annoying for you in a sense where you may not want to use it. And that's perfectly fine, but uh, just keep in mind that you generally don't want to use up smash on this stage except for if you wanted to edge guard like right here. Or get or get like an up smash off of the stage just like this at that angle that MVD usually goes for. So uh, that could be good too. but. Typically, like, there's some snake players that I've played or watched, and they'll just, like, use up smash right here when their opponent is right in front of them, like, right, like, on ground level right here. They'll rush in, they'll, like, set up something, have, like, a an up smash here. Even though it covers, like, a jump up here, if you're right in front of them, they're not really going to double jump up here to, like, try to hit you because the platform's in the way, and they don't really want to be on this platform at the moment. Up smash has a, has a lot of end lag as well now, so using it... Using it here may not help if your opponent is right in front of you because you're going to get punished. Now, if they're like recovering high or something and they end up on this platform for some reason, then up smash is pretty good. You have up smash, you have up air, you have sticky, you have back air, you have down air. I mean, you, you, have, you have good options here. But for the most part, up smash should be used on basically right close to ledge or up here. And even doing so, up smash right here, you can just get, get up attack too. So again, be very careful when you use up smash. Vinny G likes to use it up here. So like he'll like use the up smash up here to try to cover everything. So that way it's at least much more safer. Which is perfectly fine because like when you're right here, you could potentially get get up attacked if your opponent has like a really good get up attack like Bowser or Sorty or something like that. So having up smash here and then setting up shop like that is going to be much better and much safer for you. So there's that too. Uh, other than that, I mean, using Nikita, you typically just want to use it to the best of your ability. I mean, there's not really anything you could add as far as using it on this stage. Grenades, 
you can have it on the platform so you can have one on platform to cover you in front and then have a second grenade that you could throw you can have the c4 on the platform too like we went over before too uh as far as like his other attacks goes again you know that just goes back to platform pressure you have the back air which can hit hit them when they're on the platform double jump down air works well as well you got up tilt and uh and up and up air as well so that's basically what you want to do as far as the stage goes anyways uh i hope that you guys all learned something from this um definitely let me know if this is a good series for you guys or not we could end up going over all of the all of the legal stages too so uh, definitely let me let me know in the comments guys and we'll go on from there again my name is swiss thank you all for watching the video like and subscribe if possible and i'll see you all on the next one bye now Never duplicate you, never multiply two. Everyone copy your pace, mask all up in on they face. This the fantasy can't be haste. They are cool with they can play. Say, uh, 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 you feel it in you? Then you brush it off you. It's significant, but you got something we want. And your whole life is a taunt, cause you will not just comply. Waking up for your day.